Hey, space hunters, I hope you all are well. In this video, we will be discussing the question that will quench a major part of all of your space fantasies. What do astronauts eat in space? Specifically, the ones who will be a part of Elon Musk's SpaceX Starship. Well, I might warn you, the secret to this question can either fulfill or ruin your fantasy. If you are here, you are probably interested in the orbital system swarming around us, with its mysterious glow and its charming aura. Or you are curious about SpaceX, recently launching into space with its big ideas, and in news with even bigger headlines. Whatever the reason, we are glad you are here, so welcome to Stuff Box Tech, and I'll be breaking down the topic of what will SpaceX astronauts eat in space. Sounds interesting, right? Then let's dive straight into the video. SpaceX is focused on making transportation and communication to space easier, even for the public. It intends to colonize Mars by allowing local citizens to travel cheaply from Earth. This aim of theirs, alone, turns heads towards their company. I know I would march onto the spaceship that allows local citizens to travel cheaply into the Black Horizon, where there is probably a chance to see Thanos' hometown. I mean, a guy can dream. <laughs> Elon Musk did and he is now planning revolutions. You know when you are traveling for a vacation, you want to pack light. So you store all foods and similar commodities in containers and packages. Astronauts basically do the same thing when they go to space. Preparation varies with the food type. Some foods can be eaten in their natural forms, such as brownies or fruit. Other foods require adding water, such as macaroni or cheese or spaghetti. Of course, equipment is provided in the space station to heat foods to the proper temperature. Salt and pepper are available, but only in a liquid form. This is because astronauts can't sprinkle salt and pepper on their food in space. The salt and pepper would simply float away. There is a danger they could clog air vents, contaminate equipment, or get stuck in an astronaut's eyes, mouth, or nose. Astronauts eat three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Nutritionists ensure the food astronauts eat provides them with a balanced supply of vitamins and minerals. Scientists have learned a lot about feeding astronauts over the past 60 years of space travel. Still, the longest an astronaut has been in space on a single mission is only 14 months. A Mars mission would take about two years, so scientists are studying the molecules in food and exploring new approaches and new technology to keep astronauts on long-duration missions healthy and happy. Because weight of the cargo on board is a major concern for any rocket launch, it's unlikely a Mars crew would carry two years' worth of food with them. Some of their food will probably travel ahead of them on a separate rocket, meaning it will have to be processed and packaged so it stays fresh until the crew shows up. But Mars astronauts may also need to supplement these meals with another source of food, one Earthbound humans have relied on for millennia, that is, agriculture. Scientists have been growing food in space for almost as long as astronauts have been living there. Soviet cosmonauts successfully grew Chinese cabbage, flax, leeks, and onions in 1971 on the first space station with the crew, Salyut 1. Scientists wanted to know if plants could grow in space, and they were already thinking about how they would feed astronauts on a moon base or on other long-duration missions. Fortunately, scientists have found it's not too hard to grow plants in space. Plants grow more or less the same in space as on Earth. One challenge is watering them. Watering cans don't work in microgravity, for one thing. More importantly, water in space doesn't absorb gases like oxygen, which plants take up from water via their roots. So rather than growing plants in soil, or even hydroponically without soil, plants in space grow with their roots in an enclosed system, in pillows filled with a porous growth medium that provides everything they need. Fresh vegetables could be the key to maintaining astronauts' health over years in space. Researchers anticipate nutrient deficiencies in astronauts who've spent months in space. Vegetables are great, but they're not enough for a whole meal. Astronauts on long-duration missions are probably going to rely heavily on processed, packaged foods to provide the rest of the nutrients they need. These aren't freeze-dried foods like so-called astronaut ice cream, which, for the record, has never actually been eaten in space. They're similar to the Meals Ready to Eat, MREs, that U.S. soldiers snack on, sealed pouches of pre-cooked food that can be reheated or eaten as is. ISS crews already eat a lot of their food like this, 
and SpaceX is now trying to apply the short-term lessons learned from those astronauts to missions lasting years. An astronaut at ISS can choose from many types of foods, such as fruits, nuts, peanut butter, chicken, beef, seafood, candy, brownies, etc. Available drinks include coffee, tea, orange juice, fruit punches, lemonade, and, of course, there is no alcohol allowed in space. Astronauts must throw their packages away when they have finished eating. Some packaging actually prevents food from flying away. The food packaging is designed to be flexible and easier to use, as well as to maximize space when storing or disposing of food containers. The mission to the Red Planet is expected to last for two long years, to assess the lifestyle before the public sets foot on it. However, the problem with a long-term mission is that the astronauts tend to lose weight when they are in space, making their judgment power weak. They lose appetite, which makes them malnourished. This lack of desire to eat stems from the unavailability of a variety of food and the taste of available foods. Think about it. You would not want a bland packaging of limited food three times a day for two years. Even if the SpaceX provides hundreds of options, it would still matter how it was packaged and how well it tastes. The human tongue is the toughest critic for good food. Once a crew reaches Mars, gravity will solve some of the growing problems seen on the Starship. Martian gravity is less than half that of the Earth's, but it still lends weight to things, in contrast with the weightless conditions of the starship. According to past studies, astronauts should be able to grow plants in Martian soil, and any agricultural structures built on Mars could play a bigger role than just housing food, including treating wastewater and converting carbon dioxide to oxygen for astronauts to breathe. We will have to wait to see how SpaceX will manage this endeavor. Anyway, you lovely folks, we hope you had a fun yet informative lesson from our side. Until next time, take care of your space fantasies. Do hit like and comment down below your thoughts. More cool stuff is coming on the channel. Just stay tuned.